What is up, guys? We are going to be finishing up this box of 100. 100. OTS 24 packs. We're going to see how many Ultraverse we're actually going to wind up getting in this whole in this box. We already pulled four. So actually, that's actually a pretty decent spread. I do think we have a potential for a six ulti box. God damn, I hope that's true. But uh, as far as which ultis, we still can get Rock, the Vanquisher, and that's obviously not the ulti we want to pull. Uh, all right, so without further ado, man, I don't want to dilly-dally. Let's go ahead. Pray for me, boys. Pray for me. We got Fire Flint Lady and Raid Raptor for Strix. We need more Raid Raptors for, sh for Shizzle. We got a pure leap. We need this less of this though. I feel like that's the card I keep pulling the most. And that just ain't it, you know. Oh shit, I just ruined it. Tears of the overroot. This actually and the Xyz guy. I haven't been pulling quite a lot. So I, I would I would see I would like to see some more of those. Just so we can get more variety. Uh and corn fed. Corn fed, the illusion guy. Kotal, whatever the hell his actual name is, um, would also be great, actually. We got Visor Shock, and I, I'm kind of trying to see if it's an ulti, because you definitely can tell if it if the card is. King Taiga, though, Wang Hu, hell yeah. I mean, it's different. I don't know if that'll come back in the meta. One of you guys explained it to me, and basically right now in the meta, it shouldn't be doing anything, but... Uh, we'll see. We'll see if it if it actually makes a resurgence here. So we get another pure leap. Come on, man. That's already like at least eight, and that's a lot. <laughs> we need less pure leap. All right, we got another raid raptor at least for Strix. Hell yeah, and a raider's wing. I feel like uh, raid raptors will be doing quite a bit. Uh, there's it's gonna be a fan favorite for sure. Like you, Bell. Right? It's gonna be a fun deck. It might not be like tier one or whatever but it'll be fun enough it'll be a, a, a fun little alternative to the meta basically all right oh here's the uh the the uh, super exceeds guy triple days wave high king caesar that is correct that is correct i've only pulled like two of that though not exactly maybe i'll read it if i pull another one because i'm kind of curious what he does uh, all right, so we got a Tribute Lanias. Hell yeah, let's go. That's the one you want to see. And an Unchained Twin. A root. Actually, you know what? I haven't pulled this either, I don't think. I've pulled another Unchained. I believe it's like a Red Fiery Dude. Well, this is a Fire Attribute guy, but I don't think it was this. Um, huh, okay. I like that. I, I guess we still have other supers that we haven't seen. And technically, we haven't seen Rock, the Vanquisher, as an ult either. But again, I don't want to pull that. It's the worst one, <laughs> for sure. Terrors of the Overroot. All right. Someone has to also tell me, what's up with Terrors of the Overroot? Who is, is it cause, just because it has a waifu? Like, who's playing it? It doesn't look like a nice or a, a good card. You know, it, it just make, uh, looks like it mixes up your opponent a bit. Like, it makes them screw up or they're bored a little bit funky. But it doesn't seem like it does anything good that is worth including it in an OTS pack. But, I mean, I don't know, man. I don't, I'm not good at this game, apparently. Raid Raptor call, another Raid Raptor card. All right, so we pulled this. So let's, let's go ahead and read it. When a spell or trap card or monster effect is activated that includes an effect that special summons a monster effect, you can detach one material from this card and negate the effect activation. If you do destroy that card, you can make one other... Uh, double D monster you control, and this card gain 1800 attack until the end of this turn. If this card descends from the field to the graveyard, you can add one dark contract. So it's not bad. I mean, it's a generic level six support, and it just negates special summons. Um, I think it was spell and trap and monster effect. So that's actually kind of decent. I mean, there's a lot of stuff that special summons in general, right? So having that. I haven't pulled this either. What the hell? Manadium reframing. You know what they stopped doing that I'm kind of disappointed, though? They, they're not printing tokens anymore. What the hell is up with that? Did they run out of tokens to print, or are they just being lazy? Because, yeah, I, I, we need some tokens, man. We need some tokens. Tears of the Overroot. 
All right. It would suck if we don't pull an ulti. That, that would be a... Like, we could have just stopped opening these packs, actually. Sign up mining. It's actually pretty decent, so I'll put it over there. Sign up mining doesn't really see a lot of reprints. I mean, it's actually a pretty decent card. It's just the Cybers meta isn't, you know, happening. So why would you buy it or use it, right? There's nothing to use it on. Raider's Wing. We got an Electric Virus. And another Tears of the Overroot. You know what? We're going to mix these up because I keep seeing the same thing. And that's kind of boring. All right. Let's go. Watch. The next pack now is going to have an ulti. Guaranteed. Or your money back. All right. I mean, as far as ulti, obviously Rock is out. I don't want ult, uh, an ulti Rock Vanquisher or whatever the hell his name is. But I wouldn't mind another Feather Duster. I've had, I pulled three already, but dude, Feather Duster over the Chaos Angel any day, I feel. Usually, I don't like getting the uh, higher rarity spell or traps, but there's something about Feather Duster. You know, it's an, it's an oldie but a goodie. It's a, such a good card that, yeah. I mean, it's also a fan favorite. It's it's very, like, people will know Feather Duster, right? They, they might have quit the game and, and whatnot, but I'm pretty sure they would remember Feather Duster. There we go, Corn Fed himself, Kotal, Kotal Khan. Let me know if you get that reference. If you don't, it's all right, I still love you, but you need to play some nice fighting games. We got Puppet Plant. We got Safria. Okay, this is an ulti. Oh, man, I feel like... Is it an ulti? I mean, it's, it's kind of warped, so it might be an ulti. Actually, you know what? I don't think it's an ulti. Yeah, I, I, there was something about it. I was like, I don't know. Because it, it's kind of like damaged in a different way, if that makes sense. Ultis have an indent. That was more like a... <laughs> it kind of looked more like someone had greasy hands that was handling the card, you know? So we got another Tribulanize, hell yeah, there we go. Marionette Mine and Unchained Twin Ashua. Ashua. Unchained 2 have potential, although, I don't know, man. I think they could have added some, some more spice to this pack as well, or at least picked better super rares, but... Uh, all these mana diems have like some weird damage on the on the bag. It's kind of odd. Mana diem reframe. Speaking of too, like mana diem hasn't really been doing anything. So why include that card? I mean, it's it's still the best OTS pack in quite a while, in my opinion. But they're still questionable. Uh, oh, this is the guy I was thinking of. Yeah, it's it's like a a dog or something. I don't know what unchained is supposed to be inspired by or or whatever but uh yeah they're, they're mostly dogs right maybe they're supposed to be like cerebus but I, I have no idea i have no idea we got another codal though hell yeah that's one of the better pulls there for sure like all the raid raptors except for strix should have been a super rare but and even flint Fly, fire lady would have been a nice a really nice uh, super rare, but they went with purely two purely cards, a mana diem card for some reason, and tears of the overroot. Like, that's just weird. Four Strix, hell yeah. Let's go. Magic Spectre, Tornado, Magic Spectres, man. So they're all, it seems like they're all magician type. So I'm thinking of like maybe, maybe, um, Secret Village of the Spellcaster might be a good pickup if they start doing anything, I guess. Pure Leap. But uh, we will see. If they do start doing stuff, that card will be, you know, being bought out. And Konami would probably, depending on how good they are, have to do an emergency ban list for that. Because, yeah, it, it, it would lock out so many people out of actually playing the game. But, uh, all right. Oh, well, I guess maybe not uh, Labyrinth, right? So maybe Labyrinth would just see a, a huge resurgence. And even maybe Hellwick. I mean, it's a trap-based deck, right? Tears of the Overroot. And maybe that's why they included Tears of the Overroot. The trap. You can get out of it. But uh, no, I joke, I joke. Tears of the Overroot, I'm still confused on. Raid Raptor Call. 
All right. Wait, are we not pulling an ulti? Oh, boy. We'll see. That would be odd, though, because I think there were, like, 40 packs remaining. So how did I pull the ultis in the first 60 packs just by random luck? I mean, that would <laughs> that is actually kind of funny in, the, in itself, so I don't know if I would like that just for the memes, you know? But uh, Magic Spectre Tempest, and I feel like this is going to be the Mana DM card. Oh, Pure Leap. All right. Another Pure Leap, though. Th this is definitely... At 11 pulls so far out of the whole box, though. That is insane. All right. Raider's Wing and Hymn of Light. Oh, there we go. Oh, this one isn't as damaged, actually. I did not know it was going to be an ulti. Okay. And it's Rock the Vanquisher, unfortunately. But actually, you know what, though? That Spiral, I, I, I'll take it, actually. That That is nice. You know, it's, it's, a, it's the shittiest of the three. But it, it it has it has a redeeming quality at least, and I mean who knows maybe they'll add, the, the archetype will actually do something you know probably not but <laughs> I'm very pessimistic on on Rock the Vanquisher there uh, Magic Specter Tempest and a Manadium Reframing all right so is it is it gonna be a six ulti box or is it gonna be a five ulti box let's see. Oh, shit, I just ruined that one. Corn, corn fed. Hell yeah. I think we're at six corn feds. So that's kind of decent. I, I would like more, obviously. Definitely a better pull than the pure leap I keep seeing. But we can't really, you know, make our own calls on the pulls here. Raider's Wing. And we got Ashua. All right, come on. Six ulti box. That's all I'm asking for here. And maybe don't don't be a rock, the Vanquisher. That's the other ask I have here. All right, Manadium reframing. All right, S S leave a like, guys. Send some love. We need it. We love it. Marionette, my might. I always want to say mime. I don't know why. All right, is this an ulti? Okay, it's not. A lot of these are. It's, it does look like they're greasy. Greasy hands or something just just prints on it. Oh, there we go. You guys can see that. Eh, I don't like that. You know, it, I, I, call me old fashioned, but if I'm opening up packs, I prefer the cards to be uh, as near mint as possible. But uh, yeah, maybe that's just me being old fashioned there. All right, we're winding down. Six ulti box could still be possible though. Neat. We need it. Fire Flint Lady. Raid Raptor Call, and Triple Days. Okay. Actually, did th a thought, a thought. I did think we'd pull something there. But then I'm like, there's no Xyz ulti in this set. Hell yeah, Lanias is, is a good pull. I'll take it. And then another Ashua. All right. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. 40 packs, only one ulti. And it's the worst one. Come on. Actually, then I guess uh, we, we did get lucky technically on the first half of the opening. Actually, this is an ulti, I feel. I feel like this is an ulti. So we'll put it at the end there. The reason I say that is I feel like there's an indent, but that could also be <laughs> Cheeto does from a Konami employee as they were putting the cards in the pack. So we will see Pure Leap. All right, two more packs. Purely, we're at like 12. 12 pulls, holy, holy, four strikes, hell yeah. I'll take it. Puppet Plant and Reframing. At, at least one more Codal would be nice as well. So let's see if we can pull that. Codal Con, Raider's Wing. We got a, a Sign of Mining, not bad actually. And then, oh, I forgot this was in here. A Labyrinth. Shandra Regler. Okay, so is this actually an old team or did I get debated here? I feel like so the reason I'm saying that guys is if you look here It has an indent right there uh, So I feel like it's an ulti, but uh, oh, there we go. Hell yeah Woo What did I say boys? <sighs> we just gotta believe at least we got another feather duster. So in the box we pulled four feather dust wait was it fourth? 
I, sh I actually forgot. I think it's four Feather Dusters, one Rock, and then one Chaos Angel. So, in my opinion, it was a good box because I did want more Feather Dusters than any of them. The second being, I, I would, I would, I would have settled if we pulled a decent amount of Chaos Angel as well. But uh, I mean, it is what it is. And then we pulled one Rock Vanquisher. Which is, he's, he's a dark attribute? Okay. He's a rock as well. He, rock is a rock type. Nice, nice. But uh, that is the video, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Catch you guys in the next one.